Okay, I just heard somebody in the audience say it's not as big as his. That's not the right place to be coming from. It's big for you. It's big for you. Don't compare it. I'm sure mine it really is not very good compared to what Obama's done in his life either. So, you know what I mean? I don't compare myself to Barack. Okay, he's a great guy and everything, but I, you have to compare yourself to you. Okay, I'd like a couple of, uh, is it Alberto? Alberto's got the mic. I'd like a couple of people to share their moment, where they were, and, and, and go ahead. So, I see a late... Say your name and what the moment was. Lorna, and I um, put a 26-year-old contractor in jail because he was stealing from seniors. He stole from my dad, but he didn't. But he stole a checkbook from my dad. But like, my, it wasn't enough to change my father's lifestyle. But a few thousand dollars could make a big difference to a lot of seniors, like to some. So okay. it felt really successful, like really. Okay, so which, which of your values were being honored by sending this contractor to jail who was stealing money from seniors? On Honesty, because like my dad... Honesty, integrity is one of them? Yeah, like my dad, he didn't even know why he would steal from him because he did good work. <laughs> How about fairness and justice? Yeah, that, that would okay. too. Yeah, like fairness was definitely a value for you there. Yeah. And what about, you know, love for your dad? Yeah, but like, like, like I said, it, wouldn't have made, it didn't make that big a difference to my dad, but it would to other people. So like for you, would, it's about integrity and honesty. Yeah, like he would. So like, that's the big value. Yeah, because he was doing it with you. So go back to you. So, so let's, let's hear another one. Does that, does that help you guys to see what we're doing here? Here's another one. Farida. Hi, uh, my name is Farida, and it was in the summer of 2002. Uh, it had to do with universal laws, actually. Uh-huh. And I was intend, uh, attending a workshop uh, for job search. And it had nothing really to do with the job search, but uh, our professor at the time was talking about universal laws and a specific incident that happened in her life. I don't want to go into all of that, but it absolutely changed and shifted my life's purpose, my paradigm, you could call it. So what it. were your values or you were honoring? Uh, enlightenment and knowledge. Okay. You know, um, uh, realizing that your thoughts determine your realities. Okay, so hard work uh, hard, or achievement. Yeah, and that believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-reliance self is the value there. Yeah, you know, okay. and that positivity is, will get you everywhere in life. Okay, so optimism you know? is a value yes. for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you guys see that? Again, don't, don't expect to get it that quick. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but I want to hear one more before we get going. Uh, Barb? Um, mine had to do with uh, an event that I was working on, and I was part of the opening and closing ceremonies team for the Special Olympics. Special Olympics, wow. Uh, and I was with the athletes before they went on the field to do their parade of athletes. And the gr just the feeling of knowing that they, it didn't matter whether they won or they lost, uh -huh. the fact that they were there... Would, they would remember it for the rest of their lives. Great, great. So the values there were contribution. What else? Uh, connection. Connection. Um, being part of something that made a difference. Would it be a stretch to say fairness as well because you thought they were getting a shot too and, and they were just as good as everybody else kind of thing because they were there? Absolutely. Okay, so, so sometimes it's, it's the fourth one or the one that's not always apparent right away is also important too. So great job on that one, Barb. So I'm going to let you guys on your own time, because we're kind of tight for time tonight, figure out the other three. Now we're going to go to another way to look at our values. I've got four exercises to help you kind of isolate your values. I think you, you kind of understand how this one works, right? Okay, so you can do it with a couple more events, I would suggest, in your life, and see if this, they're the same values as you had before, or if they're different ones. And it's okay if they're different. What we're trying to do here is get a, a, a picture for you. Okay, here's exercise number two. This one's called suppressed values. So this, this one's really cool because we're going the other way completely. L go to the exact opposite. Look at a time when you're angry, frustrated, or upset in your life. This will often lead to identifying a value that was being suppressed or ignored. Fill in the two examples below. I felt trapped, backed into a corner with no options, for example, this person said to me, a client. So the values in this example, value of freedom because they were trapped, right? The opposite of trapped is free right? Backed into a corner, so choice or options is important for them, and, and success is obviously one of these as well here. So try it out for yourself. Find a time that where you were really frustrated in your life and you felt that you were blocked or stopped or, or stuck, and look at what was the value that was being blocked, stopped, or stuck.